山が二つありました。もう一丁湖できた It's a、uh, shit. It's a three sixteen a.m. in the morning. Let's, I'm gonna go for a fucking walk again, cause this, fuck it, that's what I do, I guess. I, I already have a place in mind, or, yeah, lo location in mind, whatever. I'm gonna go by the fucking mall, see, see what that's like. So, I guess I'll fucking cut back, start the walk, whatever. Alright, I'm, I'm just headed out, just fucking cross the street and shit. And I can't, fuck it, I still haven't learned my lesson. Still keep hitting the take the picture button to the camera button. So that's great. Also, I don't, yeah, I don't think there will be any motion detectors to fuck me up this time. So, yeah, just start heading out and see how long this, see how far I can get. Yeah, see how, yeah, just see how far I can fucking get. I don't know how long I'm gonna be walking out. Probably still for my like average one to two hours. And it's still dark as shit because it's still fucking middle of the night. So, not a lot has changed since last time. I don't know. Cut back in. Need a progress marker and or when I get a thought as per as I guess I'm just gonna start doing now. Oh boy! All right, so I'm walking. I'm getting close to the the bus station, the EMX over over by the middle school. Yeah, I'm like right over by the middle school. And while I was walking, I saw some fire trucks. Well, not and nothing was on fire, and the lights were on, so I guess they just kind of fucking went out. Oh yeah, I did pass the fire station. So I, and when I did see him, I was very close by. So I don't, I don't know what the fuck is up with that. But before that, I had an intense bout of extreme paranoia and almost just went home. Yeah, that's not common, but you know, I'm I'm a very paranoid person. It's just when I'm very paranoid, it's very, very specific. You know. Like it does, it's not gonna come up regularly, but when it does, it's fucking, it just goes crazy. But this is this was generalized and random walking on the street, very very paranoid. Somebody was gonna fucking stab me. So, well, I got over it, and I'm I'm still walking. And then I saw some fire trucks, and then I I don't know, I stopped caring. But so yeah, that's <laughs> that that just what happens, I guess. It's speaking out loud how I just randomly got very paranoid. Does not makes me seem not all right. Granted, I rarely do seem all right, but whatever. So, I guess time for the next next portion. See you in the future. Oh, the bus stop got fucking blue lights. This shit's sick. And it's a truck. You know, I thought about getting some. This reminds me that I thought about getting some. Some black lights from my room. Then I realized, oh, that might not be the best idea. Cause, uh, cause, come. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just get some like nice ass blue lights. <laughs> Man, that's that's fucking sick looking. I didn't, fuck. Maybe I, I don't really go out when it's just dark. Cause usually when it's just dark. And I want to go out. The bus ain't going, so I just, I just kind of say, the bus ain't going, and nothing's open. So you know, just kind of say, fuck it. And it's, I think, yeah, it's the first time I've been over this direction for my walk. I'm also not in the sidewalk. I'm on the bus track because I didn't realize that the sidewalk was further over that direction. I mean, further over, I mean a little bit. But I, I started filming, and I don't want to. Oh, well, the fucking fence just ended, so. All right, now I'm on the sidewalk proper and streetlight. Anyways, yeah. So I, I guess I intended to keep going until I, I ran out of shit to say, which I have. But now I'm on the sidewalk already, so not a lot going on. So yeah, cut back when I got more shit to say.
All right, well, I'm, I'm over by the other bus station, the other EMX stop that's just a little bit away. And, you know, over by the, the Safeway or whatever. And, you know, so I, uh, since the one over by the middle school, I've been, I was looking for a word. I was thinking of a word and then I just couldn't fucking remember what that word was. So that was, it was plaguing my mind. I'm looking up like, cause I sort of remember the proper definition. I'm looking that shit up and I'm freaking out. And I remembered this after like a couple minutes after the the one right before this one. Remember that. So that's and then now I remember that word. It was like that time in the first vlog where I forgot the word observation. So I just kinda skirted around that. So yeah. Really light as shit over here. Like goddamn. Every light. <laughs> Every, pretty much every light except for some of the in-store lights are just fucking on. Like, look at this shit. That's fucking... I don't know if that came out good. <laughs> and I won't check till I get home, because fuck it. Not that I thought about that. I'm, I'm specifically going out of my way to not check. But, yeah. Fucking... Every parking lot... Er, our parking lot light... Every light above the fucking store. God damn. And this came back, you know, from like the fucking walkway. That's like not a, not a lot of lights, like one every few feet, and the light doesn't overlap. Granted, when there is a light, it is kind of light as shit. And then, you know, coming across another dark spot over here. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, one of the fucking pathway lights was fucking busted, like at least the cover. The light still worked fine. I wonder... I wonder if somebody went out of the way just to fucking break that one. Or, uh, you know, what what incident could uh, result in that. But... Yeah. Well, and fucking even in the back that shit's light as fuck. At least a couple, but... That's fucking... God damn. And I guess this over here, I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's... Fucking everywhere's got their lights on. It's fucking in the middle of the night. That shit's just unnecessary. But, yeah, I guess that's, that's all I got to say. For, yeah. I keep for these to overlap a lot. That's all I got to say. So, that was kind of going fast, but I think, uh, yeah, whatever. Fuck it, middle of the night, nobody's here. But yeah, that 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 was my only thought for this section. Uh, you'll you'll see me in the future now. It's fucking the power of video magic. Man, I remember the TV show said that, and through the power of TV magic, we're back. Cause some shit would take like a couple of days. Some educational show. And oh, hey, yo, TV's got magic. I didn't realize that you know they filmed it. Over the, the what you're watching on TV was not filmed on that same day or the day before, probably like months and months beforehand. <laughs> Dark ominous field, going from all the lights in the fucking world on, and all that one street light that's breaking shit to this fucking field, <laughs> dude. <laughs> probably get stabbed in there. Like if I were just some crazy asshole. I'd probably just stand there if you, if you went in there and just stab you, cause fuck it. You won't see me. Murder path. That's, that's the murder path. But yeah, not, now I'm out of stuff. Now I'm out of shit. That, that, that magic shit put me on a tangent and then followed by the dark fucking <laughs> spooky field of murder. All right, yeah, this keeps, this keeps, I keep extending this, time extended. But yeah, I, that's, that's it, I'm out of shit. Now it's nice and dark, so, you know, going back to not talking. It's like, solar powered or some shit. Oh, yeah, it's still, still walking over by the tire center. Whatever the fuck, yeah. Yeah, whatever, fuck, what was it? Oh yeah, so I was, you know, walking, doing my thing. Then I remembered, Fucking angel. Angel. 
that's forth telling you from another topic I want to talk about later. What it is, you'll just have to watch and find out. What was I? Oh yeah, fucking remember Street Fighter Five. <laughs> and then you know they add in the characters for the Championship Edition, new DLC, whatnot. And you still know Makoto. That's a shame. But the, the you know Seth, the whole deal deal with Seth. Which, you know, if you don't know, Seth was the antagonist and final boss of the Street Fighter 4 series. And in that game, he was he was like a he was, he was a fucking guy. A big buff dude. You know, the gang symbol in his abdomen. And bringing him, bringing him back for, for 5. Because 5 is... They're at, we're adding all the bosses now. That's what we're doing, I guess. And now they got some changes with Seth. Seth is now a girl. Who still has the weird voice. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Not, not excited. I'm not like. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me head in here. Let me push forward to dash. Um. Um. I'm gonna stay. I ain't all for that. There's, there's a lot of other Street Fighter girls I can probably go spend my energy on, like the aforementioned Makoto, the best girl. But uh, interesting change. I wonder. I don't know if they're actually out yet. But if they are, I might actually go check the story when I get home. But, yeah, we changed. They also added fucking Gil. Gil's back, baby! Look, I'm just I'm just happy for any uh, Street Fighter 3 sort of adage acknowledgement. Because, uh, yeah, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is my favorite of the Street Fighter games. Though I haven't played 5 properly. It was free for a little bit, but my computer can't properly run it even at the lowest setting, so... Yeah, if you're not playing it at full frame rate, everything still... It doesn't feel pro it doesn't feel right, as when I played... Street Fighter 4 with a, with a shitty... With a shitty graphics card when I was in between them at the time. I didn't like it as much. Because, you know, I was playing at like... At a weird frame rate. I want to say in between 30 and 60. Probably like a 40 or something. So, you know, the import timing and all that shit was off and it didn't feel right. But when I did play with my, when I did get the, my new graphics card and I did play at 60, everything felt a lot better. And I do like it more, but you know, not as much as Third Strike. But that actually was sort of my, my prerogative, my taste difference. Because at that point, you know, just the sort of systems in play the differences in systems and stuff between three and four are, you know, it doesn't, you know, it's more based on your, uh, what you like at that point, so, yeah. But, you know, Gil's back, and I don't remember what his fucking super is, but I bet you it's not all the fucking busted ones from Spree. Granted, he's no longer the final boss in an arcade game, so he's not going to be as busted as shit, so he takes your quarters. But, yeah. Oh, he also has the Wings of the Seraphim ability, or super. So, you know, that's, that's going to be pertinent for the future. You fight for the future, so you the three. <sighs> Fuck, all right, well, that, I mean, <laughs> that, that's all I had to say for that. And I'll, I'll come back when I got more shit to talk about or when I turn around. Whatever comes first. them all looped right back around boy it's kind of dark over there like not a lot of lights inside of like the, the store like you know with the name of the stores on the top yeah those lights are on but that that parking lot is dark as shit <laughs> nigga might catch a night night catch something over there like a knife <laughs> or a mugging but yeah so 
the fuck is it? Yeah, so, because I thought, like, I fucking filmed some B-roll, and the, the A-side of that B-roll is going to be fun to film later, because I got to leave in the middle of the day, and I got to film a public place, and there might be people, and they might get pissed. That's, so that's going to be fun. That's going to be a bit harder than the, uh, than the one I did last video. Because I just kind of sat there, because the day the, the daytime portion, I just kind of looked like an asshole. But now I'm just kind of actively filming a fly where people's cars and or themselves may be, and they might not appreciate that. So that will be, that might be an ordeal. It might not. And more blue lights from the fucking bus stop. Bus stop over by the mall ain't got no blue lights. That's regular yellow white lights. So that's... That's... That's lame as shit. That's also got the most lights. It probably looked sick. With all, with all the blue lights. But um, whatever, I guess. Eh. I guess that's that's it. I, that's all my. Oh yeah, Smash. You know that new Super Smash Bros. that everybody's been talking about. I don't know why they brought it up like that. Whatever, Smash Ultimate, new character, final What the fuck ever. This is actually whatever. Something, something, something. Where my boy Rundus at? From Metroid Prime Three. He was the he was the ice guy. Then you fought him, and then you're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe this new ability introduced this, this this new shit that this new tech that's been introduced in this uh, this installment of the Prime series Prime Three is not maybe that's maybe that's something we gotta get rid of that that phase on shit ain't too good to be putting in your body. Granted, that's kind of I just want a remix of that boss theme. That boss theme is sick for the yeah, the run this boss fight theme. That shit's sick probably put that in the background track somewhere if not already here don't know how the timing for the songs will come out but put that put that in I'll put that in yeah you'll see it you'll see it in the, the corner like right right there let me let me put it not right point to out of spite let me flip the footage for this section only so they try point to the wrong spot but, yeah, so that's, look, I just want I, more Metroid gear, because the Metroid is the shit. And patch out the other M design. I'm tired of an existence. So, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll get back further along the way. With some more more thoughts as I, I think them up. Put them out there in the, the sphere of relevancy of this video. And by relevancy, I mean not really. Nobody's watching this shit. The bus station with that fucking sick ass blue light. And you know, I, I listen to the Rundus theme. And then you know, I start thinking about Rundus. That nigga's fucking sick as shit, man. He fucking saves you those couple of times. Then he shows back up on that planet. And you're like, oh dude, it's Rundus. And he, he gives you that cold shoulder. And you get it, because ice powers. <laughs> oh, I'm not clever in the slightest. And then you gotta like fight him and you're like, no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, this is this is just emotion talk, but yeah, that Rundus theme is still good as shit. Yeah, fuck it, Rundus is still cool. That's that's all I gotta say. It's fucking all right. Time to walk in the middle of the street because I realized this bus stop was not connected to a sidewalk. Again, and there's a car coming. It's far away. I can tell because uh, it's it's dark. The light. All the way fucking over there and shit. But yeah, now I'm heading back. Well, yeah, I've been heading back for a while now, actually. And I passed that. I forgot to mention it on the way, the first way, all forward. But that, that neurology building on the way to the, to the, uh, mall. Did not, didn't pay no mind. Usually I pass by it on the bus because I'm not usually walking to the mall. Uh, they got all their fucking, yeah, it's usually. As most businesses do, they got all their lights on for some reason. And yeah, my 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 usual 
thing I like about that is she look in it's um, you know, nothing's going on, empty, undisturbed. Monitors are still on. Don't know what the fuck sleep mode is, apparently. Cause it's just that picture before you you open it up and you you log in on your Windows 10. Yeah, it's fun graffiti. But it's, you know, it's somebody's work computer so they ain't got it customized. It's just like that default. One of those default landscape pictures or whatever. So not all the lights were on. There is some in near the, the rear section of the place where the lights were on. So you just got some, some of the light coming through from the other building, from the other rooms. Gave it weird lighting. And or, you know, maybe, yeah. But some sections, the lights weren't on. Which either because they're, they just turn them off or that light is supplemented by the sunlight. But, yeah. So yeah, at least got one. One nice, nice little, little hollow building to look into. See what that's about. That's that's all on it. Yeah, that's 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 the stuff for this this small section. Fuck! Ah, shit! Fuck! Well, I saw a cat walk across the street, but a second ago. But that that's not really relevant. That's yeah, I'm fucking retarded. I guess it's fucking. Start the recording and then drop the phone and then just start screaming curse words. Granted, nobody's out, so I don't <laughs> think it matters anymore. If it did in the first place. Anyways, so so here's the part everybody's gonna gonna tune right the fuck out. There's one more talking point I have after this. I'll probably put a put a timestamp in. Where's the camera? Right, right there. Right there. Yeah. I will not put that there. Just out of fuck, just fuck you. That's why. Um, so yeah, it's time. It's time for the yeah. Like I said, everybody's gonna tune right out. Put the timestamp in. It's time for Graves Model Kit talk. I'm talking about model kits. Talk about Gundam. Whatever the fuck I feel like now. <laughs> I'm no. I'm no longer limiting my talking points to not those. So yeah, this has been announced for a while, but. Uh, it's been announced for a while. I don't remember when it fucking comes out. Gonna have to put that on the screen if it's been announced. But it's the the real grade uh, Avon Unit One from that the series Avon Genesis ne Neon Gelatin. Yeah, this, this show about the. Uh, I don't know what a lot about that except for the Ava units, Jet Alone, and there's something about depression, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. All I know is the robots and the angels and what that. And yeah, so Bandage releasing some real great to the robots. Or at least just the one, the first. Alright, well that, that coffee stand. Whatever the fuck you call it. That coffee place just turned right the fuck on. Granted, I think those places need to be early. Because, you know, if you're up at this time, you might need some coffee. Anyway, so yeah. Avon Unit 1, they released some real great. Avon Unit 1. Or real great to the... The one, one 144 scale model, highly detailed model kits line. And this, is, this is the first foray out of out of you know the Gundam markers that Bandai usually does. So you know this, this Ava Unit One. I'd have to. That's my second favorite one. And like me and everybody else is. He's like, well, I hope they do the other ones. Granted, the only ones I like are Ava Unit 1 and the mass-produced Ava Unit. Which, based on that name, and if you know my taste in mobile suits, you would think, oh yeah, that makes sense. Considering I am a fan of the, you know, the mass-produced grunt suits. You know, these, as my favorite mobile suit, as I said before, is the Zaku 2. You know, the Zaku 2, the gyms. J guns, you know, Leos. You know, my produced grunt suits on my jam. I, I like those the most. This is what I, this is, you know, what I tend to favor toys. But I like the the mass produced Ava units for a different reason. Though they may have the, they may have the uh, standard, uh, you know, sim, uh, details, portions of most mass production, you know. Yeah, things, giant robots, mecha, 
you know, similar, all having the same appearance, multiple, or, you know, it's just sort of very simple. I like the Ava, I like the Mass Producer Ava units because they're, they're fucking, they look like weird angel things. And granted, that's, you, that's kind of what angels look like in the Bible, kind of sanitized, especially in the third spear choir, you know, your seraphim, your orophim or thrones, and of course, uh, cherubs. Yeah, cherubs aren't actually winged babies, those are something else though. Pluto or something like that. Uh, seraphim, oh no, not seraphim. Uh, cherubs actually have uh, four wings and three faces. One of a lion, an eagle, and a man. Really weird looking, anyway, yeah, so. I'm hoping that lion is successful enough to get real crate mass produced Ava units. Cause I, I, I'd buy those. Cause I, I, I've been kind of looking around for a Navy unit figure. Or mass produced. Produced. Nice. Hopefully, yeah. The, the real great Ava unit, uh, Ava, Ava, yeah, Ava unit goes on long enough for those to be a thing. Granted, it starts off with, like I said, my second favorite, Ava unit one. So from the, you know, the, the product images and stuff, that's like, you know, showing off showing off the features. One of which is the opening mouth for the berserk mode. Does not have any teeth. So that's something I might have to figure out how to make. Because I prefer the, the berserk open mouth with the teeth as opposed to, to no teeth. Yeah. But that's maybe it might be too difficult to make the teeth. Maybe they just kinda like yeah, fuck it. But and other hopes for the future. We got the, we were just, they released the, I think, yeah, in December, the Master Grade Gundam Barbados. And, you know, the Barbados, yeah, you know, I, you know, it's kind of cool. I like it, especially the form. As much of the forms as the series goes on, the one that released, I think, is the Force Form. So, yeah, I, that's, I think, that's my favorite of the Gundam Barbados. But, but what's important is that all the Gundams in that series are, yeah. The definition from Iron Blood Orphans for a Gundam is they use the, the Gundam frame and named after a demon. And there are two, two, there's three suits, yeah, there are like three suits from that series that like, two of which use the Gundam frame. And that is the Vidar, the one with the fencing swords and the pistols and the machine gun. And uh, my other favorite, you know, it's probably it's up there. It's, it's uh, yeah, it's probably my favorite actually, which is the Gushian Rebake Full City. And I hope they release that because uh, I got the high grade, and uh, you know I made that. But uh, you know, kind of, it's my first. It was yeah, my third model kit ever. So yeah, I kind of fucked that up. Didn't have the tweezers for the small eye stickers. Fucked that up. Broke one of the arms. You know so. Yeah, that's glued in a place and I used the head that didn't have the eye stickers. So I'm kind of planning on buying a new one and then, you know, maybe actually painting in the color correcting stickers and doing the whole shebang with that, doing the eye stickers properly. Luckily, there's a couple of options for how that could be, you know, set up that it won't be looked at, it won't be exactly the same as my old one, but yeah, with panel lighting. But yeah. So I hopefully there's more Master Grade Iron Blood Dolphins kits. We do get the the other because the parts for the gun for the frame the the Gundam frame on the model kit are labeled separately as just the, the frame as opposed to just like the Barbados the runner is really you know, the runners the Barbados. So that's that's probably a bit of future proofing on their end on Bandai's end. So and. It's shown that they've already done that with the, the Gundam Dynamis. The, the frame parts were labeled were labeled like Gundam frame, and now they're releasing. They're gonna. They're working on the new uh, Gundam from Double O. One of the newer, one of the other Gundams from Double O. I don't know a lot about Gun Double O except for you know it's got the fucking floaty, glowy magic bits. That's that. That's kind of more super robotish. That's not kind of, so uh, I might, you know, it seems like it's not my cup of tea. 
But, you know, maybe I'll, I'll look into it later. It's like, you know, I prefer the, the real robot stuff that Gundam offers. Especially, like, you know, the stuff that Eighth MS team, you know, like, oh, we gotta, we gotta worry about the sand filters because we're going out in the desert and shit like that. As opposed to, I got my glowy bit and that makes me fly and do the like, magic beams or whatever. And, yeah. Also, other upcoming kit news that they've they released at the beginning, either the uh, yeah, at the beginning of this year, and the very beginning of this year, or very end of the last year. Uh, it's uh, you know, that's what we got working around cooking up the Gundam base and all that. And of that, I think really the only kits that you know sort of piqued my interest, sort of like, mm, let me let me take a peek at that is the is the Desert Zaku. And the gun uh, RX-78-4, both of which are P Bandai, and that 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 made me shed a tear. This is Desert Zaku. I like my Zakus, as I've mentioned probably twice now, if not more. And yeah, that's that's the, as it entails. That's a version of the Zaku, mainly for desert operations. As you know, there's fucking tons and tons of Zaku variations out there. One for is it slightly wet out? It's almost to the point of it. Is it slightly wet outside? Well, we got the slightly moist uh, environment, Zaku. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of this uh, Origin Zaku kit, and I have like three of those. Those are some pretty good kits. Got the nice art articulation, a lot of accessories. So, it's probably a quality kit. But it's Pete Bandai, and the price of me getting it is like fucking absurd. It's, it's like 40, 45, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'd have to go check the site I probably will be using for more Pete Bandai, Pete Bandai purchases in the future. But yeah, it's, it's like double the price of just like the Origin Saku 2. And I'd rather use that money for just more of those. Because those things are sick. And you know. Does it Zaku? Does it, I don't even think it lit places on my top five, but I don't even, yeah, so not worth it. But the RX 78 4, I wonder why that's P Bandai. As the, as the RX 74, that's the first one in the RX 78 dash number. That's like not just the, the same one, but recolored as the one through three. It's the same unit, just different colorations. So, I, I'm probably, it's a high grade too, the high grade RX-78-4. As, I don't know, maybe it uses a lot of the, the revive RX-78-2 parts, and they're just kind of, kind of putting that out. Granted, I wouldn't pet it past them, that's pretty much entirely an original kit, this P Bandai now, because uh, the Gundam F-90 P Bandai release, that's, that's pretty much, it's... It's like 99%, if not 100%, in average, like, unique model that is P Bandai. So that, that fucking sucks, because I, I do like the F90's design. But, yeah. Another thing released was there's like a build, uh, build divers sort of variant of the Gundam GPO2. I don't know what the fuck it was called. Eh. Yeah. And it's, it's, a, it's a thing. Instead of the atomic bazooka, it's got two like beam scimitars and the flexible bind, uh, thruster binders have been sort of reworked into just giant ones with like either rocket launchers in them or beam cannons. I can't determine. And there's probably, I'm pretty sure there's already a wiki article on it. They're just kind of rolling it into the new show or whatever. But I hope they're doing what they've been doing with the other. I'll uh, re-rise re re sort of, you know, unique kits where it's like, because the series is based on Complet itself, so the characters usually like modified Complet and stuff. As it's, it's a show mainly, so Complet. Yeah, I don't really watch it, but, you know, some of the kits are cool. But, you know, with the recent ones, if they've been really, like, they've been doing, like, the Gundam Salt Sam and the Infinite Justice. They've been, like, the parts that are from the kit is based on, like, the Seltzer is a modification of the Gundam Mark III. So the Gundam Mark III uh, parts 
are labeled Gundam Mark III, but there is no high-grade Gundam Mark III, so what they're probably doing is, you know, we're releasing the, the realized modifications, and then later we'll do, like, a, you know, the base kit, so probably later down the line they'll release a Gundam Mark III high-grade. And I, I think they're already doing that, the Infinite Justice one. Or the Justice Knight. A realized kit, I forgot, it's a... It's a modification of some kit. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to put it in. But I'm pretty sure they're already showing off like, oh, we got the, the high grade. We got the, just like the base kit of that. So I'm hoping that that leads to a, a, a revive Gundam GPO2. Because not that I particularly, well, I do like it, but it's, I think it's number third on my list of the GPO line. It's three or four. From the the GPO the you know the cheap the Gundam GPO line, I'm hoping that leads the way for more revives of the, the GPO line because that was they they already do have kits but those were early 2000s high grades so maybe not aged the best so you know hoping hoping that leads the way for more revives of the you know the GPO of my favorite the GPO three. Not with the, the not the not the Jadrobium, the GPO three S, just the the Stalman. Cause I doubt they're bringing that back. <laughs> but I, it would be I would fucking lose my shit if they did. But yeah, kind of looking more forward that if they do make a revive GPO two, that leads for a revive like Gundam GPO one full burning and uh GPO GPO three S Stalman. Cause those yeah I like. Those are like my favorites. And I kind of looking at the high grades, and they're a bit aged. So yeah, and I, yeah, I think that's actually it for my my Gundam talk. I have to look at the time when I'm editing this, because once again, I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this. And I'll I'll walk a little bit, maybe think about my next point, because I do got a point after this that if you didn't click off the video. And I went on Discord and yelled about me, yelled at me about this, because I did it again. I did it a fucking again. <laughs> then, then yeah, then you'll do, you'll, you'll probably just skip to, skip to this part. Oh wait, wait, I forgot about the, the mobile suit I was supposed to highlight. I forgot about the rules about that. Yeah. So Thomas didn't didn't, uh, didn't really get to the end. So yeah, I'll probably post his his Discord message about what he did, his attempt, but yeah, he didn't get the, he didn't, did the, didn't get the one I highlighted at the end of the series, or the end of this portion, so, the mobile suit I'm gonna highlight, kinda, now I've been thinking about it, saw a review, there was just a review released tonight, I watched one of it, of the high grade of it, when I was eating my dinner, so I'm gonna have to highlight this section I'm gonna highlight the camphor from Double OED War in the Pocket. That one is so yeah. Throw up the picture. Throw up the uh, mo the whole you know from the model number and the classification. But because this thing's like pretty fucking armed, I'll throw up all of its with it, all of its armament with its armament because it's it's a lot. Granted, it makes sense for its role, but yeah, fucking. Two bazooka, two fucking high caliber bazookas, two shotguns, fucking mines, Vulcan guns. Yeah, you can read the text I put up. But yeah, so yeah, I'm getting close to my home. Probably, probably give it a small break, and then well, we'll pick back up with the, the last talking point I have. So hope you had fun with the segment. If you watched, you probably didn't. You're probably kicking back in. If I put the times definitely like right after I stop talking about it. But yeah, so. Here's the next segment now, right now. Walking home. So yeah, it's been like literally probably like three minutes max, probably closer to like one and a half to two. And I'm walking home, and I'm very excited to get home because there's a new chapter of Jehe Je Sama Will Not Be Discouraged. I'm fucking loving that, that manga. It's been a, you know, there's been some new, some new uh, story beats. 
coming up in these, these last couple of chapters. Last two to three. Not counting the one I have not counting the one the new one that I haven't read. But uh, the, you know some big some big plot progression points. I do enjoy this manga. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. I'll put a cover up so you know what I'm of the series of the manga. Probably my favorite my favorite cover when I go look at the covers. But yeah, it's a nice nice manga about about, you know, the number two demon of the demon realm. Your hot shit, Jahei Sama. Madrigal shows up and just fucks the place up. Now she's, she's stuck on her trying to find magical gems to go fix the demon realm. And she's just fucking bad at it. Doesn't help that her newer form on the human world without the aid of magical gems is a, is a small child that I find very amusing as she struggles and these smug faces. You know, the smug face followed up by, yeah, I'm the best, only to trip and fucking fall on her face. Yeah, come home probably if I get, yeah, you know, read that chapter and eat something, go to bed. Because it's like, I forgot, I, I can't tell what time it is because I can't check my phone when I'm recording. Or can I? No, I can't. No, I'm fine. All right. And it's too dark to look at my watch. So, yeah. Gotta go read that fucking new chapter. Because I'm not going to say what the new story, the new pro plot progression is going on. Don't want to spoil it. You know, but I'll put a link in the description so you can go, go check that out if you want to. But I would recommend that series. It's very, very fun comedy series. I can't wait for for the yeah, the next chapter for see. Can't wait to see where this is going. Making some progress. Making progress, kind of. It's like that. Yeah, like very happy. I'm so excited. I read the chapters, and I was thinking before I saw, before I refreshed the page, I saw there was an update. And I went, "Oh man, I just read the last chapter. It's gonna be a minute till the next one. I can't. I can't. I really can't wait to wait." And then I refreshed the page, saw the new chapters in my list, and I went, "Oh shit, there's a new Jahei Sama. Fuck, I know what I'm reading." The other, the other mangas. One of the ones I'm very, very happy to read. You know, fought. Uh, Hatomi Sun, Shadow Strangers. Hatomi Sons and Shadow Strangers. I'll probably put the title in a cover there too, I guess. Well, yeah, I followed that guy on Twitter. I followed the artist for that on Twitter. And he posted a screenshot of like his, his Idol Master games, like his favorite idols. And I went, ha. He kind of lined it up with the, with the main. But the main character the, 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 that the manga is titled after, and you go, hmm, yeah, this guy is a type. This is, hmm, I'll fall into the same archetype. Especially, you know, the main character of the manga he's writing. I'm not surprised. I don't care. <laughs> in fact, I pro in fact, I signed up for this manga specifically for that. So to see that this guy is a very, very big fan, very, very into this, this character archetype. Very, very, very that's happening to see because you know he's his maybe he, now he's writing from the heart. He knows he's put he's putting care into this. Kind of kind of forgives that last chapter. <laughs> not that it was bad, but it's it's just bringing up plot points that you know that there's not going no it's not going anywhere. So yeah, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a link down in the description. I don't know if it's gonna be at the top or, or the bottom in, in order of what I put, but fuck it, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's all I gotta talk about now. And I'm almost home, so I guess next section will just be, will be me at home, my clothes and thoughts or whatever. So that's that. That's happening right right now. The next section when I when I hit the stop button. I right, I'm fucking home. Can I yeah? Gonna go read this new fucking Chahisama chapter. Fucking maybe I'll get a tuna sandwich. I don't fucking care anymore. I'm, I'm home, I got the fucking, look at that, right there, on red, I'm gonna read that shit, as soon as this camera gets off, I take my pants, uh, yeah, and I get out of it, I just took my fucking coats and my shoes off, so I got, I still got things to, to do, to get comfortable, such as remove my watch, watch, you know, it's 5.30 in the fucking morning, 
it's it's late, so I'm gonna have some fucking. I'm gonna have some fun reading this. Maybe I'll reread the last last chapter because that, that was good. We got ten ten fucking hours ago. This is fresh. It's not even a day old. So yeah. So yeah, that's 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 what I'm gonna do. And so see you fucking nerds later.